John Sawat used to say that one of the reasons we have chanting in the morning while the monks are eating is otherwise the lay people would be sitting around chatting, waiting for the monks to be done with the food. But there's more to it than just that. It's not busy work. When we chant, we're trying to think in line with what we're chanting. Even if we don't know all the Pali words, we know some of the meanings. You want to keep that in mind as you chant. And having the sound of the chant, the rhythm of the chant, repeat it again and again and again, gets, gets it into your system. When you think of all the other things we've gotten into our system, all the TV jingles and commercial jingles and crazy songs, it's good to have, as they say, the current of the Dharma going through your head. And sometimes it comes to, comes to your attention right when you need it. Subject to aging, subject to illness, subject to death. Those are good things to remember. The Buddha wants you to think about these things every day so we don't get careless. And so it's like having a little tape of the Dharma in our minds. And sometimes it can't compete with a lot of all the other tapes that are there, but at least it's there. It's also an opportunity for us to be alert and mindful while we chant. Trying to make, make sure our, our voices can blend as much as possible. The acoustics here in the hall are not all that good. People at the back can't hear the people at the front. But try to listen. It's a training in being sensitive to what's going on around you. When the chant goes together, when the voices go together, we give energy to one another. And that's another good lesson. That when we're practicing, we're, we're giving energy not only to ourselves, but we're radiating energy out to help one another on the path. So try to think about these things as you chant and realize, okay, this is, a, this is an important part of the practice. We've got the words of the Buddha, even though we may not understand all of them, we've got the words of the Buddha in our head, and the ones that we do understand are all a good message for the mind. And the activity of chanting itself is training lots of good qualities.